Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're up here at the haunt. Me and Jacob right now working on the paintball field stuff. Um, we just went and took measurements for gravel. Um, we've got, so it's like kind of weird right now because there's two calculations online for gravel. One of them says that a ton, one ton of like um, half to one inch gravel, which is what we are going to get, will cover uh, about 90 square feet. Another calculation says that one ton of gravel will cover about 0.7 yards, cubic yards. So now we're not digging down. We're basically just dumping and back dragging to smooth it all out, put down a good gravel base. Um, so the square feet calculation comes out to about $8,000, 8,300. Um, and the cubic feet one comes out to about $200,000. So yeah, it's a little bit of a discrepancy between the two. So we have, uh, we have budget. Yeah. Two inches does make a big difference. <laughs> yeah. For all you guys out there, two inches is a difference, but, uh, we proved it through math. Yeah. So. Math. All right, we've got the other tools in my truck, so I'll have to get those. Um, Jose was supposed to drop the other stuff off here. I don't know if it came or not, but... Um, so, we have budgeted for the 8000 8, And I mean, if that works out, because that's including delivery, if that works out and it's correct, we'll be able to gravel everything that we need to gravel, and it'll be literally fantastic it's a new road uh three new areas for for parking it's parking for vendors parking for uh year-round customers manager parking up front and a huge part uh like thirteen thousand square foot parking lot in back for the actors so and a new road going to the actor area that's like 20 feet wide so two lane road um but hopefully it's not that uh 200,000 square foot, $200,000 number, because that sucks a dick. For that, I'm, I mean, that's halfway to like a building. Um, so I don't think that's exactly right. I mean, I guess it could be, but like, so for example, this building is about 5,000 square feet. Now I've reached out to um, a company called F. BI, which is federal building something um pretty much they they build these kind of pole barns um and they quoted about a hundred dollars per square foot for a building that size so you're talking the gravel base the concrete that is then laid on top of it and the structure itself including all carpentry and framing and the steel the roof the electric and so for a 5,000 square foot building you're looking at about five hundred thousand dollars now it does not make sense to me that half of that price would because that's also including like the labor so it doesn't make sense to me that half of that price would be material cost for just the gravel um so yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So anyway, we're gonna get some, some walls up and start knocking out this house. Let's do it. So this is uh, the entrance of the, the new attraction. So that's pretty cool. Um, we, uh, the garage is, we're one wall away from the garage being done. Um, we gotta pull a tape measure I can tell pretty much right now, like this wall goes that way. This is angling that direction. It needs to not, but um, we have to frame in a custom wall. So we're just flying in a brace for right now, but this will this will be the garage entrance to the new haunt. Um, we're kind of, there's gonna be like the rest of a house here as well. So that's gonna come off of that and everything, but um, we'll start construction on that probably tomorrow. Um, but we're also doing an actual driveway here, like a concrete driveway. The house will run right next to it. 
and eventually they'll come in from this side into the front door and they'll queue through the actual house and then come out into the driveway and through the garage to get to the attraction. So um, they're going into a neighborhood, so there's kind of a lot. Um, but I love this idea that you're in the square and there's all this kind of stuff and that's gonna be all fenced off and stuff. But I just love the idea that you have this house the attraction name somewhere out front and just inside is an old truck, a flickering light and a fully themed kind of 1950s garage. It's gonna be fantastic. So this is the first room of the uh, new yet to be named Blaster Ball Arena, Gel Blaster Arena. So it's coming along. Anyway, it's cold as fuck. We're gonna clean up. We're gonna head up to HHP. Let's do it. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're up here at the haunt. <clears throat> um, we are, we just got here, it's me, Jacob, and Ashley right now, and we're going to be working out here on the gel blaster field, which we are calling Containment Radio Road, is going to be the official name, um, because it's a, you're playing as a containment team for the Truman Corp, um, with a task force that is been tasked with cleaning up and containing the effects of a spill from an airplane that crashed into a tower. There's a lot of lore like behind it, but that's enough for right now. Um, if you want the whole story, it'll be available somewhere eventually. But essentially, this is what we've got right now for containment. <laughs> We're bringing out like actual tools like sawhorses and shit instead of just the drill so that we, we need to get a custom size wall here um so that because it's like not quite 12 feet it's like 11 and some change so we got to get something smaller into this space so we can get this garage complete once the garage is complete we'll start to come off this front and get the rest of the house starting to get framed in um, with as many walls as we have so we'll start to get everything in um, figuring out the distances the lengths all that fun stuff um, we won't get the whole house done, but my hope is that today we can get all the walls up, all the walls that we have up as far as we can. Then tomorrow, um, won't get anything at Amherst tomorrow, but maybe I could send Jose there. Like we've got all these, but I don't think this is going to be enough to get the house done. The house is like 20 feet wide. So you're looking at, um, 10 walls at least, plus probably another three, we need about 13 wall panels so we, we might get close you've got one two three four five maybe ten over here and some over there so we might get close we like it very very close so we'll have to see how it goes right now jacob's grabbing tools <clears throat> and uh we're gonna start let's do it all right guys we're about to head out of here um go up to hhp for a bit here's what we got done and what we're still going to do so we got, uh, Jacob and Ashley got the custom wall built for the, the back, so that's good. And then we got this side of the house up. This is a whole side of the house with the side door. And then one wall for the front, really just to get stability for this. But we'll be, um, we're going to go to Amherst our next day and uh, start getting this shit all up. But this house is basically going to be 12 feet deep and 20 feet long. And then it'll have this kind of backyard area too. So next we're going to have to take that fence out of here and start going that way. But we'll leave it up for right now so it's easier for us to block this off if we have to start planning parties and stuff. But the next day we're here, we're going to have to take this down. What we might do, Jake, is just swing this out um, and like run this straight across. Okay. That way it, it kind of keeps this fenced off until we're actually done. Um that, that way it's like hidden behind something instead of just looking like this cool so but anyway we, um while they were doing that i was doing this mulch shit um because we're getting gravel getting dropped off on Sa friday morning a whole bunch like 300 tons of gravel or something is going to come and start to get dropped off on friday um and for the next several days next week but so i had to get the mulch moved we also want to mulch all this anyway so we got you can see 
all this over to there, basically to here, mulched, and then over there you can see what I got. So we're just bringing whole buckets of it and dumping it. Um, we'll keep going a few more days on this, a few more hours. Um, I mean, there's still a lot to do because we have to do the whole drive in, all the rest of this, all the way around. There's a lot. So anyway, next, uh, before we leave, we're going to get all these pumpkins and throw them in our cars so we can take them to HHP and get them fixed and get that project done. So let's do that and I'll see you at HHP.